Hey, this is Susan from SmokerGrillGirl.com and what we're doing today is we're going to be walking you through step by step on how to um, replace this RT, RTD temperature probe. Um, ours went out and we've not been able to use the uh, uh, pit boss for a few weeks now because we keep getting an ERL error code. So we're going to go ahead and replace this RTD temperature probe and walk you through the whole process step by step so in case you ever have to replace yours. Okay, now the probe is connected to a processor board which is in here. I uh, thought I could get to all the connections by just dropping the grate off the bottom, but that doesn't look like it's going to be good access to the board. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the hopper off. Uh, there's a screw here, here, and then there's two on the back. Here and here. And what we'll do is we'll, when this gets uh, disconnected, we'll lay it on the bucket just for support, and we should have access to all the wiring. So let's go ahead and start uh, removing the screws. And before you undo the last screw, just support the hopper with your opposite hand. Or have an assistant. And once the hopper is loose, just slide it away from the unit and lay it on the bucket. Now, before we remove this hopper, you will want to go ahead and uh, empty out the pellets to make it easier. So, um, you'll notice that we did empty out the hopper, the pellets from the hopper, but all this dust from the pellets, um, while you got the hopper off, you might as well go ahead and clean up that dust, vacuum it up, and that's what we're going to do um, while, while we do this. Alright, so now that we've got the hopper off and we've cleaned out the auger, this is the RTD probe cable. And you can see that it runs from inside the grill down to this connection here. And then this connector goes to the control board. But all we're going to have to do is unplug this and then take the probe out and put the new one in. And the way you do that is from the interior. On the inside, you can see that there are Phillips head screws on either side of the probe, and that will take the cover off. Just so that you don't forget the orientation of the cover, I like to just put maybe a piece of tape at the top, so if I lay it down, I don't have to figure out which side's up. All right, well, let's take those two screws out. It just slides straight up. Now you have two more screws at the base of the probe. We'll just take those out. Okay, so like with any good project, we just found out there are nuts on the bottom of these screws. So you'll need to get some pliers or something to hold the nuts. And just take the screws out. Now the probe is probably going to be a little stuck just because of all the oils and stuff from the food. So if it doesn't 
just come up like this. Just take a small screwdriver or something sharp that you can get under the edge and then just tap it and it should come up. It might take more than uh, one or two taps, but just keep tapping. All right, so what you'll want to do is come back down to the control board connection. And you'll want to push this tab on the side of the connector. At the same time, pull the connectors away from each other. Feed this through the side hole until you speed it all the way through. You might need to just rotate it quarter turn until you get it to the skinny side to come through the top hole here. Then we'll get the new probe and then just do the opposite. It's probably going to be hard to see on the camera, but you just kind of have to put your hand and maneuver your hand to get the nut on the bottom of the, of the screw. Right, so don't tighten it all the way. You want to start the other one. Alright, so now that we started the nut on the onto the screw, Take your pliers, pull the nut, and start tightening. Now before you do, you may want, it has some adjustment here. You just want to try to make sure it's like in the center of where the cover is going to go. And once you determine that, just tighten down the screws. And you just want them hand tight. You don't want to make sure you don't want to uh, tighten them, over tighten them. Okay, that one's in. All right, now that that's secured, we're going to put the cover back on, and we know that this is the top. There is a cutout. I don't know if you can see that. Like right here. That's what the cover slides down into. And then again, just snug them, hand tighten them, do not over tighten. Now we'll come back down here, the new connector, and then we will plug it back into the control board connector. The holes line up with the pins, so it goes this way, and then snaps in place. Alright, so what we're going to do is just reverse uh, what we did to take the hopper off and put the hopper back on. So just lift it up, just be careful of the cables, you want to make sure that This is on the outside of the frame, on the front and the back. And then once it's in place, you'll just put the screws back in. And once it is ready to start tightening down, just make sure you lift up on it a slightly to make sure you secure it well against the side of the grill. 
Now we'll go back around the front. And do the same. Okay, so there you have it. I will say that um, it was a good thing that I went ahead and took the grate off the bottom because when I laid the hopper on the bucket, it left me more room with the wires to be free and not going up against the edge of this. And that's it. That's replacing the RT Depot. Okay, so this was the old probe that came out, and you saw how it connected. Now, some of the control boards that that connects into won't look exactly like the one that we had, but they send the other connector as well to where this would connect here. And then this would go into, it looks like a little... Um, blue connector box where it has two little small screws. You'd undo the screws, plug those in, and then tighten the screws down which holds these cable this cable in place. That's the only other option on the control boards for reconnecting the RTD probe. We'll have a link of this uh, RTD probe that we purchased off Amazon in the YouTube description in case you uh, are ever needing to replace yours. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video on how to uh, replace the RTD Pro. And if you uh, need any more information or uh, resources, be sure to check out my website, smokergrillgirl.com, for more pit boss and outdoor cooking tips. And I'll talk to you later. Have a great day.